Good morning everyone, today we are going to be talking about the salon because I know some of you guys may be a little bit confused on how the salon works because uh, to be perfectly honest with you guys when I was designing this specific character or the ship one character I learned a lot of things that I did not know about the salon or maybe they did some new updates recently I, I don't know the last time I used the salon was last year so I'm pretty sure they changed a lot of things but before we begin the video if you're new to the channel I upload NGS content daily so if you do play this game I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel anyway without further ado let's begin the video So the very first thing we need to do is of course to enter the salon. So in order to enter the salon, we need to go to the salon staff and enter salon. For those who don't know where the salon is, press N to open up this map and you can see it's the one with the uh, with the lips or the lipstick or whatever you want to call it. You talk to them and you can enter the salon. Now you can enter the salon either in Central City or in Ritem. So uh, yeah. Either way, once you are in the salon, you're going to be greeted in this menu over here. So first of all, I want to talk about outfits because uh, most people care about the outfits, or at least that's the most uh, obvious one. So we want to go to edit fashion over here and layering wear. And base wear slash set wear is going to be the majority of your fashion. So the ones with the light backgrounds are NGS outfits, while the ones with the dark background are base PSO2 outfits. The main difference between these two is the fidelity. When you zoom in you're gonna notice that the NGS outfits are gonna be a lot more detailed you can actually see the material and the texture which is really really nice while compared to a base PSO2 outfit you're gonna notice that you know the pixel count is a lot lower it doesn't look as nice it's kind of like eh, you know it, you definitely can tell a huge difference between an NGS outfit versus a base PSO2 outfit simply by pixel count or like high fidelity okay the next thing to keep in mind is the outfit color can be changed. You'll notice over here base wear color settings. So for example, right now this is like a dark gray. Let's say that I want a bright pink. You can change it to bright pink if you want. You can change it to white if you want. You can change it to whatever color you want. However, do keep in mind you will need an N color change pass as when you click on review settings over here, it will tell you right here. You'll need this pass in order to do so. So if you want to revert the changes, just untick it and just click apply and boom it reset that settings so you don't need to pay anything and by using the review changes tab over here it's very easy to identify okay what costs money and what doesn't cost money so that you can edit the character the way you want so remember again the color change ones like up here as well as inner color change settings these require an n color change pass now the next thing i want to talk about is inner wear so when you click on innerware, you can see you can select all of these different innerware over here, but you can't see it because your base wear is in the way. Your base wear is covering all of your innerware, obviously. So how do you fix that problem? Down here in the bottom right corner, you can see show slash hide outfit. By clicking this multiple times, you can hide specific things. So you can see here I've hit the outerware and the base wear. But if I click it again, I can also hide the innerware. So this is my character's default look right here. However, I am not showing the innerware right now. In order to show the innerware, I have to hide it like this. So now I can see the innerware. As you can see here, I am using Heartbreaker innerware because it looks like a, you know, pure cloth panties, which is pretty, pretty good. But let's say that you don't want to go for this innerware. Maybe you want this one, slightly more futuristic, a little bit more risque, a little bit more uh, sexy. Or you can go with this one. This is the one that I used in yesterday's video, but I realized that this little shiny blue dot over here was very, very distracting. So whenever my character did any panty flashes by accident, it was very uh, difficult to not look at her panties because of that bright blue light. Which is why I decided to go with Heartbreaker, which is uh, very, very simple, very, very pure. And it doesn't distract you when she accidentally does a panty flash because it's a very normal looking panty. So that is how you cycle through all the different layers in order to get the perfect look for your character. Now do remember over here in the color settings, if you don't want white panties and you want it to be black panties, you can do so. But again, do remember you need an N color change pass in order to do so. So let's say that the black panties over here, which is Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker 2, I believe. There's a black variant of this one, which is, uh, I think it's Heartbreaker slash 2, which looks exactly like this. If it is very expensive and you have an end color change pass, you can just buy the cheaper one, which is the white one, and then just use a color change pass to make it black. And boom, you've got your perfect underwear. 
or you can change it to other colors as well. So do whatever the heck you want. But now we don't want to waste our color change pass, so we are going to revert the changes and boom. All right, next thing I want to talk about is zooming in and zooming out of your character. If you are using mouse and keyboard, you can just use your scroll wheel to zoom in and to zoom out. However, the problem over here is when you zoom in, then you're like, oh, wait, I don't want to look at this. I actually want to look at her face. And then you want to use your W and S key in order to scroll up and down. However, that's way too slow. So if you're using a mouse, the easy way is to simply double click on where you want to see. So for example, let's say we want to zoom in on her face, double click on our face, boom, you're zoomed into her face. You want to zoom back out, you double click again and you zoom out. So this is a much easier way to quickly get to where you want in order to do your fine edits to make sure that everything looks good. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, of course, hairstyles, because that is very important. So we need to go to edit head over here and hairstyles slash head parts. And right here under hairstyles, you'll be able to select a variety of hairstyles that you have. However, again, there are two different varieties. One is base PSO2 and the other one is NGS. Now the NGS hairstyles have something special in the sense that you can adjust the hair length. There are specific hairstyles which you can do so. So for example, over here, let's say that I want these bangs to be longer. You can do so by simply increasing the slider. It becomes longer. If you want it shorter, you slide it to the left and it becomes shorter. And over here, you can also adjust your different highlights. So if you don't want this purple highlight, let's say that you want to change it to like a, a white highlight, you can do so or dark highlight, which well, I mean, why would you bother? But you can do with all of these different highlights in order to get different colors, and that is pretty cool. However, the two-tone color highlights is not exclusive to NGS hairstyles. So you can see over here, I am using Kuna's Hair 3, and Kuna's Hair 3 can also have the two-tone hairstyle. It's not as, uh, you know, flashy or in your face, but it still looks really good, especially with this fade at the back which is really, really nice. And you can adjust your base color with your new color over here in order to get that perfect blend that you want. So let's say we want red over here to fit this outfit since we are going with like a black and red kind of color theme. We can do so over here by changing the fade to red and with black hair. So you can see there is a gradual fade over here where it goes from black and slowly to bright red, which is pretty cool and pretty nice. And of course, what I like a lot is the little tips, the little highlights on the tips. So you can brush through all the different hairstyles over here to see what fits you the best. For those who were around for the SAO collab, you got this hairstyle for free, which is of course Asna's hair, which is also pretty nice. But I personally stick with Melissa's hair because it just fits my character's aesthetic the best. Um, to be honest, the Kuno one looks pretty good as well, especially with the highlights. But remember, again, if you want to do the highlights, you can see there's a little S symbol over here, which means that it will charge star gems in order to do so. So let's say we decide that, A, we want to do this color change. When I go to save changes, it's going to say this change will require star gems. As you can see here, SG payment is required. Now you can override this if you have a salon pass. Remember, when you log in every single day, I think you get one salon pass every single week or once every two weeks for free simply by logging in. Just remember these salon passes are ship bound. So in my case, since this character is on ship one, unfortunately, I don't have that many salon passes because I redeem all my login rewards on my ship two character. So just remember that. All right. But if you want to use your salon pass, you have to make sure that the salon pass is in your inventory before you come into the salon or else it's going to tell you over here that, hey, it's going to cost you 100 star gems in order to make any of these changes. OK, the next thing I want to talk about is body types over here. You can go through easy edit where you can just select what type of profile you want. Maybe you want a shapely model with like, you know, thin or a top heavy or bottom heavy or whatever. And then you can just move around the slider in order to see what fits you perfectly. However, I personally don't like to do that. What I like to do is I go to physique and chest. I go here and right here, you can actually select how tall you want your character, how wide, if they are top heavy, bottom heavy, whatever, it's up to you. And what I want you to pay attention is the height over here. You can see that my character is 168 centimeters. So if I want to make her the shortest, you can do so, which is 154. But I don't want my character to be super short. So you can make her really tall too. You can make her two meters if you want, freaking giant. But you know, for me, 168 is a good height. Now, let's say that you do mess up. How do you undo or redo? You can see on the bottom right over here, there is a redo button and there is a undo button. 
So let's say I wanted my Kuna hair back because remember when I went to review changes, I took that away and I applied it. Well, you can still get it back by clicking undo. You can see once I click undo, boom, I have all of these changes back and uh, you're safe. But if you don't want it anymore, you can just do reverse and boom, we're good to go. And that also applies to the height that we just messed around with. You see, this is the shortest height. This is the biggest height. Let's undo, undo. We're back to our default settings. Now, of course, we have to talk about chest size. This is really up to personal preference. You can make it super big, gigantic max size if you want. You can make it super flat for justice if you want. It's really up to you. Now, I made my character pretty modest size, nothing too crazy. I think this fits really well for my ship one aesthetic. I don't want to go overboard. I don't want freaking uh, gigantic bazongas. So uh, this is the size that I went for. I think it's pretty much default, to be honest. Um, nothing too crazy but if you do want to go full crazy you can always just click on the randomize to see what fits your character the best or if you want you can just go full bazongas over here and massive uh freaking yeah big size but obviously we don't want that so we're gonna undo until we get back to our default settings which was here right this Next up, we have to talk about stockings. So stockings, when you do apply them, they will be under body paint. So when you click on body paint over here, you get two different layers of body paint. So you can select the layer one over here. Remember, if you are using the NGS body type, you are limited to the NGS body paints only, okay? And you may have noticed that I am locked to body type two's body paint specifically because of the body type that I'm using. However, remember, you can use two different layers of body paint. So for example, I got my stockings on layer one and for layer two, maybe I want the gloves. You could do so and boom, you see, look, I have gloves now. So now you got the stockings and the gloves and they look really, really nice. Now over here is very important as well. You can actually put priority on which layer goes first. So for me, it's body paint one takes priority, then it's inner wear, and then it's body paint two. That is my priority list. However, depending on your character, you can mess around however you want. But the customizability does not end there. You can actually increase your waist size as well as your leg length as well. Now, I personally don't really mess around with these sliders too much because as you can see here, my character has a very great butt already. Um, this is the, the shape. It's pretty much like all the way to the max to be honest but um yeah so this is my character i'm not going to go into this or else uh yeah i just don't want to get too carried away next up is of course accessorizing your character you can see over here there is a cost of 18 and every accessory that you add on has a cost so for example these red rim glasses has a cost of two so that will take two out of my 18 points and you can see that i've put in a bunch of different accessories in order to fill it up but i still have six points available which means i can still add on more accessories if i want to now again with the accessories you have the ngs types over here and you have the base pso2 types but the nice thing about accessories is you can mix and match so for example this aura pedals over here i this is a base pso2 uh, aura which i added on and it works so you can mix and match base pso2 accessories with ngs accessories and there is no conflict now let's say you've made your perfect character but you're waiting for a salon pass or you're waiting for star gems so that you can apply all of these changes how do you save your profile go over here to the bottom and there's save and load creation data when you click on it you're going to click on save creation data then you can name it whatever you want remember if you named it the same name as an existing file it will overwrite it so i will call this ship one final form right and do confirm and after we saved our profile we can go to load creation data and you're going to be like wait a second there's nothing here what's going on and this is because we are under human type one now this specific character is a human however her body type is type two so we need to go to human type two and right here you can see these are all of my different settings so ship one final form we can load it and boom it looks exactly like this but let us switch it around for fun so my ship two character is actually a Duman. So if we go to Duman over here, you can see Karopi Worldly Maiden. If we load this, you're gonna see that I am missing all of these things because these items are all bound to ship two and not bound to ship one. And you know, we're on ship one. So I'm missing a lot of things, including the hairstyle. So it won't load the hairstyle. However, you can see that it loads the face perfectly as well as all the different accessories that I have access to on ship one. 
However, if I want to go back to my old settings, again, I can go back to human type 2 and ship one final form. Boom, it loads it immediately. Confirm, and we are good to go. We can edit whatever, we can fix things, we can do anything that we want very, very easily. And once you are happy with all the changes, you can go review changes, just make sure everything is good, and then save change, and you are good to go. Now, if the changes you made do not cost any star gems or any other currencies, then it will automatically just save all of your changes, and they'll send you back to the regular server. Now, if you are a premium member, let's say that you messed up something, you can still go back to the salon and change anything for free within a one hour time period. So if you are premium, you get this added benefit. If you are not premium, you better make sure you have your character perfect before you use that salon pass or star gems or whatever you want to use. Because if you do mess up, you're going to need to consume another salon pass to change all of your settings again. All right. So free to play. Be very, very mindful for that. However, if you are a premium member, you have one hour of free changes. You can change whatever you want. Just uh, it has to be within that one hour time frame. Okay, now last but not least, I want to talk about lighting because when you're in the salon, it's very difficult to test how your character looks in very specific lighting. But you can actually change it because they added this new feature by going over here to the salon, go to field test, and you can actually load Central City, Halfa Plains, Halfa Lake, Ratem City. You can load all of these different backgrounds to check the lighting on your character. So, for example, we are going to select Central City. It will take some time to load over here, so do not panic. This loading screen does take a little bit of time. And once we're loaded in, look, you can turn the camera around, you can zoom in, you can see everything in different lighting conditions. So let's say, oh, maybe we don't want to check a clear day. We can check a cloudy day. Boom, lighting is different. We can check a rainy day, or we can even check a thunderstorm. And you can check all of the different lightings as well as the time settings. So again, we're going to go with a clear day and we'll change the time settings over here. And boom, you can see this is now at nighttime. We can see how our character looks. Again, you can just double click to zoom in and zoom out to just take in all the information and see, hey, does this look good? Am I happy with these changes? Am I good with this lighting? Oh, maybe I want to check what it looks like in the day. And boom, now it's like early in the morning. Oh my goodness, freaking bright day. And you can see, okay, in this lighting, how does my character look? And you can see that, you know, the clouds are moving and everything. So this is a very good way to check and see how the character works in different lighting conditions. And boom, again, we are back at nighttime. And dang, my character looks freaking cute, which is really, really awesome. And this is how you can do it without leaving the salon. Because I've known so many times where it looks perfect in the salon you come out and immediately you look at the lighting and you're like oh dang it something is off well now no more mistakes for free to play players we can now check over here we can even go to halfa wetlands and boom we are now in halfa wetlands and we can change it to thunderstorm boom it's raining so the lighting's even more different now and we can take a look at our character in this type of perspective as well when we are fighting gigantics and stuff really really awesome and once you're happy with all the changes you can just click save changes and it'll tell you thank you for using the salon there are no new changes at this time click close and it'll send you back out now of course if you do have changes that will cost stuff you know you will get a different menu just warning you that a it's going to consume a salon pass or a it's going to consume some star gems and if you're happy with it then you just click yes and boom you're good to go so in conclusion the salon and customizability in new genesis or just pso2 in general is extremely extremely extensive you can change a lot of things you can even make one bicep bigger than the other bicep if you're trying to cosplay as like trindamir or something right so there is a lot of customizability you can actually make whatever character you want if you guys would like to see better examples you can always check my twitter i'm always retweeting stuff of people cosplaying as demon slayer or as genshin impact or as other video game characters or even vtubers on my twitter that's really all i use it for i just find cool stuff and i retweet it but yeah there is a lot of customizability this game is really really good when it comes to the fashion department is just getting all the right parts and experimenting it and putting it all together that is the difficult part but when you do finally get something that you're happy with man it's very very satisfying special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except
Welcome.